What's up Wanderers? It's another mod day. We're getting prepped for Overland Expo, which is next weekend. It is currently 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to everyone. Hopefully you guys are all safe tonight. Have a good time with friends and family, but we are doing another interior mod on the Tacoma, so let's go ahead and show you what we're doing. All right, so first things first, we're gonna get the OEM as seats with the PRP seat covers out. There's gonna be four bolts. And if I'm right, I believe that there's a connection underneath the seat. So I'll let you guys know what I find. But we have the seat jackers installed. So we're gonna leave the seat jackers in and just take the four bolts out and get this seat out for y'all. So we got the seat out, it's four bolts. There is two connections to take out as well. As you can see, I got some spring cleaning to do, so we're gonna clean this up real quick and get right back to it. Much better. Not perfect, but we cleaned up all underneath the seats. Now it's time to put the Corbo seats in and show you guys how we do that. All right, so underneath the seat, you're gonna have four Allen keys that you're going to be attaching here on the provided brackets. Now it's cool because it classifies it as driver side, passenger side, so you guys won't mess that up. All right, here's the Corbo seats next to the OEM seats. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but the OEM seats are one, way heavier, way bulkier. These Corbo Trail Cats are way slimmer, way lighter, so you're already saving weight inside your truck, which is huge. And the headrest is actually taller on the Corbo Trail Cat. We've already got the seat in on the passenger side, so it's been nice to see like wow there's actually a massive difference in putting your head back on that headrest there but let me know what you guys think would you go corvo trail cats or would you stick with the oem setup that your tacoma comes with all right we got both seats in the tacoma and man can i say these are the perfect addition to our overland build here We've been going for a black and gray theme, and honestly, this is the icing on the cupcake. These seats fit in super nice. Took me probably all in all an hour to install, get the other seats out, clean the bottom of the seats, and yeah. We're gonna do a little test drive in a little bit and show you guys what we think of these seats. drive down the street see how these guys hug us and honestly so far like going around corners like it's it plants you pretty well like everything is perfect and if you guys have the seat jackers on your Tacoma and then you install these like I would highly recommend keeping them because the seat jackers really help a lot but Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. Over time, when we off-road it and stuff like that, we'll give you guys another update on everything. But this is a solid, solid seat. Really stoked on how these guys turned out. So hopefully you guys like the new seats in the Tacoma. All right, initial sit down in the new seats test. This is incredible. These seats really hug you on the side. They're not really as tight as like some of the other seats that Corbo goes through, but for an overlander, everyday driver, the trail cat is probably the best move because it gives you that little bit of hug that you want while off-roading. You've got the height on the back of the seat here. 
I'm six foot tall, so it fits me perfectly. Um, and the seats feel smaller than the uh, big OEM ones. Like they fit the truck a lot better. It's not as heavy and bulky as those other seats were. So I'm excited to uh, get some miles on these. If you guys are gonna be at Overland Expo, you will see these seats in person super stoked on that and yeah hopefully you guys liked that video let us know down in the comments what seats you would do would you do these trail cats what color would you do they have so many different color options colorways um or would you stick with black and gray like me let us know in the comments below and until next time we'll be wandering